In today's video, we're going to go over the brand new 2023 EMTB from Vazari, the Temp Peak. And yes, I got to test ride this machine and it completely blew my socks away. We'll do an overview of the specs and break down each model and its price points and I'll let you know which model is my favorite and why. So let's start with an overview of the Tim Peak. The Tim Peak features 170 millimeters of travel in both the front and the rear. But don't let the big travel 170 millimeter e-bike fool you though. It excels at uphill pedaling and handles like 150 millimeter travel bike. Despite its travel size, it felt lightweight and effortless to maneuver. When compared to other 170 millimeter bikes I've ridden, it was much easier to pop around. It has 29 inch for the front and rear. It also has a flip chip to adjust the geometry so you can have the option to build and change your package into a mullet setup. And the Tim Peak is a fully carbon bike for the front and the rear triangle. You have the Shimano EPA as your motor and you get a standard of 630 watt hours battery across all builds. The geometry of the Tim Peak is based off of Fazari's award-winning LaSalle Peak platform. Here are some of the key geometry based on a medium and large. 455 millimeters of reach for a medium, 485 millimeters of reach for a large, 64 degrees head tube angle, 437 millimeters of chainstay across the board, 73.6 degrees seat tube angle for a medium, and 74.1 degrees for a large with effective angle at 77.5 degrees for both sizes. Now let's turn our attention to the models in pricing. What sets Fazari apart from the traditional manufacturing is their innovative approach to the specs. Every single Tim Peak model comes equipped with the TRP DHR Evo brakes in 2.3 millimeter rotors without exception. This demonstrates the brand's commitment to listening to their riders and building bikes that they would want to ride themselves. Fazari understands the importance of rider response and spares no expense when it comes to crafting their bikes. The first model on today's list is the Tim Peak Comp that starts at $6,299. The shocks on the Comp are a DVO Topaz Gen 3. The fork is a DVO Onyx SCE1 with a SRAM NX for the shifter and derailleur combo. Brakes, of course, as mentioned earlier, are the TRP DHR Evos, and the wheels are a DT Swiss 1700 series. Fazari's base EMTB build is ready to rip the trail straight out of the box, making it a standout among competitors in the market. The Tempe Comp in particular is an absolute steal for its spec and price point. Whether you're a first time ENTB rider or a seasoned pro, this e-bike offers the perfect combination of high performance components and affordability. In fact, it is difficult to find another brand that can match Fazari's offering in terms of quality and value. Next model on this list is the Tim Peak Elite at MSRP of $6,999. The Tim Peak Elite comes with a RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate for the shocks, a RockShox Zip Ultimate for the fork, a SRAM GX Group Set for the drivetrain, and of course, mentioned earlier, the brakes are a TRP DHR EVOs, and for the wheels, you get a set of the DT Swiss. 1900 series. That is so much bike at the $6,999 mark. I don't know what else to say. I mean, you have the best shocks and fork from RockShock. And by the way, I double checked with Azari and the fork is the newest damper from RockShock's, the Charger 3. This build and price is so hard to match. I believe this is the build for me if I had to push the button today. Next, on this list is a limited Tim Peak Elite Launch Edition, which will MSRP at $7,499 with a RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate as the shocks and a RockShox Zip Ultimate as the fork. Of course, again, TRP DHR Evos for the brakes and a set of DT Swiss HX1700 for the wheels and a SRAM access system for the drivetrain. The perfect build for those who love the SRAM access system. However, this is a limited production run. So for those that want 
the electronic shifting. Be sure to hop on it as soon as this build drops. And moving on to the Fazari's top spec, the Tim Peak Pro starts at $7,999 with a RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate as the shocks, a RockShox Zip Ultimate for the fork, TRP DHR Evo for the brakes, and also a set of DT Swiss HX1700 for the wheels. But what sets this apart, the Pro Series from REST, is that it features the newest SRAM 12-speed drivetrain. I'm definitely excited to announce something that has not come out in the industry just yet on this channel, but that is pretty much all I can say or talk about on this new SRAM 12-speed drivetrain. I don't have information about which model or which price range or if it's which level, which tier it's on, but this is spec on Fazari's Pro model, so you can kind of draw your own conclusions. So this Pro build from Fazari is pretty much the dream build at $8,000. There is no comparison in the market today. I'm pretty sure if you go do some little searching and digging around, you will find this build over $10,000 easily. Fazari is also offering a frame set at $4,999 that comes with the Fox Floatex factory. I'm actually very excited to see this option offered. This is the perfect frame set for someone who already has all the updated components from his or her first e-bike or someone who is looking to convert their components from an analog bike. Fazari can also spec different shock options such as rock shocks, DVO, EXT, push, you name it, Fazari will do it for you. All four models of the Tempe gets in solid A plus for their spec and price point. I have to admit, I was extremely nervous when I found myself leading two pros during my test ride on the Tim Peak, but the Tim Peak handled it like a champ or smooth as butter. Tackled the chunky terrain with stability and it kept me totally calm in the cockpit. Writing down my favorite trails in Temecula, I was actually blown away by how well it handled. Even though it was a 170 millimeter enduro bike, it felt surprisingly light and easy to maneuver. The confidence I felt on the Tim Peak was through the roof and even my wife Ellen said it gave her more confidence than her trusted 2018 Turbo Levo. So in my opinion, is the Tim Peak worth its price tag? It absolutely is. And if I had to choose one model for myself, I would pick the Tim Peak Elite at $6,999. For me, this model has all the boxes checked. The suspension, the brakes, the wheels, and the mech are all what I want out of my own EMTB. Again, go try and look for the other brands that are doing the same exact build. Many are charging over 10 grand. And for those who are just getting into mountain biking and looking at the Tim Peak as their first EMTB, or this is your first EMTB purchase, I suggest going with the Tim Peak Comp at $6,299. The complete DVO build spec offers some of the most simplistic settings to dial in your suspension. And if you do develop your riding skills quickly, you can be sure that DVO suspension is able to be adjusted according to your riding ability. Fazari is the only company in the US that's offering a 23 point custom setup for your bike that measure everything from height, weight, your shoulder width, riding position, etc. to get your bike dialed in when it arrives to your door. And with their lifetime warranty and service, Fuzari's got your back with their amazing customer service team who will help you out with any bike adjustments you need. Plus, if you run into any issues that you can't fix yourself, you've got a network of trusted bike shops across the US that is ready to help you out. Basically, you're not gonna feel like you're stranded with your new bike, feeling like you're on your own to figure things out. With Fazari, I'm sure you're gonna feel confident that you're gonna get the support you need to keep on riding. This was definitely an awesome experience to get to ride the Tim Peak before its launch and get to know the Fazari family. A lot of nervousness riding in front of two pros and um, to be honest, it is nerve wracking, but the Tim Peak did its job, kept me calm. It was really fun, great experience. Thank you to the Fazari team for coming out to Temecula. I had a great time testing these bikes. 
Hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you made it this far, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. We'll see you all on the next one. Peace.